Hey everybody! Okay, we're getting ready to finish our project. Now, I you saw what I did in the last video, and I threw a coat of matte medium over her just to keep, just to kind of keep her there and keep her down. And I'm gonna see if I can grab my what color I'm looking for. I'll use paint instead. Okay, so what I'm go gonna do to finish this is I have these tulip beads in a bottle. They're great. They come, uh, you can probably get four or five in a bottle. They're where the tulip stuff is, um, like where the fabric paint and whatnot are. And I love these. They're fantastic. I have them in every color and I love them. And I'm just going to give her some bling and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of outline her dress very little because not only can you do beads you can do this and you can do this with any type of uh, glitter glue or whatever because that's essentially what this is with a tip um, but you can use glitter you know whatever color glitter glue you want um, I was going to do orange, but I kind of like the pink because it kind of goes with the pink inside of the dress. Do it on the neck. And then on the white, I'm just going to put a few. And it's okay if it like has like little points on the dots you put in because they'll fall. And then they'll turn into a bead. And this is just to add some glitter. So you just want them sporadic, nothing to, uh, you know, you don't have to be perfect. It's just going to add some glitter. And if you want to put them in the pink or wherever, in the black, those will look nice. And it just, and then you just sit back from it and just see, oh, did I miss? And like this one, I kind of... You can just kind of push back up because I kind of made a line and then just make it a bead again. So those are a lot of fun. I'm going to let it in close so you can see. And it just gives a little bling. For her, dun -dun -dun, her feet, I'm going to do, I'm going to take a black marker and you can use a Sharpie or whatever kind of marker you have. And because I have her feet here, I'm just gonna draw like little, give her a little heel and give her little shoes. Nothing, cause it's gonna be hard to get shoes on her with this tool here, with this uh, what's it called? I'm gonna color the heel in or color the whole shoe in really, um, with this lace here. So I'm just gonna color it all in and then I'll show you what we'll do to make it fancy. Now, if you really wanna do something, you know, now that really doesn't look too much like a shoe, but it gives the, illusion of a shoe. You could do something really cool and take another color marker if you have a color marker that ma matches this and do lines up like you have little cute little socks. That would be really cute and do like uh, pink and black socks. Gorgeous. But what I'm going to do is just take my beads in a bottle and just go over this and just use the nib to, to like kind of spread it out. And so like, it's like black, but it's glittery black. And when it's dry, it'll look very cool. And do that over here too. And like I said, over here, it's not as prevalent look, re prevalent, prevalent looking as the other side because of the lace, but either way, it's fine. Just makes it fancy and then wipe off the tip you can see the tip gets a little dirty 
just so when you put the cap back on, it doesn't get stuck or it doesn't come out. And then I have some stamps. And I just want to get some of this orange over here and maybe some pink or red. I don't know if my red's going to show, so I will try. And I want to do, since I have the owl on there, maybe I'll do a bird. So I'm going to pull out one of my birds. <laughs> or Flippy the bird, I don't know. Sometimes it's such a hassle to get these plants. I love, I love stamps, don't get me wrong. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my, you can use paint, you can use a stamp, uh, pad, you can use whatever you want. I think I'm going in with an orange gelato and let's see if this works. It might not work the way I want it to work, but I'm going to go in and kind of color on it or maybe spray first. That might help. Where's my spray bottle? Oh, yeah, yeah. Give it a quick spray because you want it to be a little white because you want this to be like um, watercolor. Just kind of spread it around. And I don't care if the full shape of the bird comes out or it doesn't really fully look like a bird or it looks like I'm giving you the bird. It doesn't matter. It's just some color. So when your stamps don't stamp. Now this is a new one of those, uh, what are those called? The photo, those rubbery stamps that don't take paint and all very well at first. So this isn't going to probably do as well as I want it to, but however, I'm going to stamp it there. And it might just look like an orange blob and then I'll deal. And it does. So I'm just going to kind of rub in with my hands, take off. Like it feels like there's like a jelly or something on there. Like you probably have to stamp a couple times with it. And I think orange is going to be a little bit, I'm just going to kind of take my, and lightly let it go over and pick up some of the texture. Can you see it picking up the texture? I'll bring it up to you in a minute. That way we're just bringing some of the color in. And you can use your finger and rub it, you know, if you want to rub it in a little bit here and there. And it just lightens it up a little bit. You're just pulling that orange hair in. That's basically what you want to do. And then you, my friend, are going back. Okay. Now, do I have any other colors? How about some gold? Because gold will be nice with the... Just picking up a little bit of the texture, wherever the texture is, just a little bit. Again, use your watercolor pencils, use your watercolor crayons, use your acrylic paints, use whatever you got. This is just what I grabbed and this is what I have. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of white too. And I just stuck my finger in my uh, bead line right there. So I'll have to go back over that. But just, you know, very lightly. You just want some, just brightens it up a little bit. Nothing major. And like I said, if you want to go back in with your finger and rub it in a little bit so it's not so prevalent, I hope that's the right word, <laughs> then you do so. If not, don't worry about it. I'm not going to worry about these stamps right now. And then I'm going to take my bead in the bottle and fix where I stuck my big fat finger. Okay. Now, I'm going to take some white acrylic paint, whatever brand you have, folk art, ceramic coat, plaid, whatever. And I'm just going to take the littlest brush I have. And you know, I always take out of the lid. I'm going to move her over, move you down a bit, move her over a little bit more, find the tiniest of brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the side of those eyes. And we're going to paint those whites in. Yeah, 
if you have a darker, you know, if it's darker area where you're going to paint the white in, you want to do a little gesso first or whatever you can. I'm just using white paint. I'll go over it with my marker to, uh, and I'm going to go over the eyes, the middle of the eyes, you know, to fix it all up. But I want that whiteness in there. I want them to pop. And I'm going to go on the other side too. So I'm not too worried. I'll just, if I go over the brown line where I drew, I'll just go over it again with the brown marker after it's dry. Because I'm going to need two coats of this anyway. And when you have hands that shake like mine all the time and can't hold small things for a long time, you don't get perfect white eyes. But god damn it, I'm going to try. It's okay if you go over the green. We're going to go over the green one more time. So if the white overlaps the green that's a little bit, it doesn't matter. If you want a little white underneath the eyeball, just run it underneath there very thinly. And see how it makes the eyes pop. And then once we go over the color, it, you know, with the pen, it'll uh, make a difference. So while that's drying, I'm going to rinse my brush off. I'm going to grab a red. Eh. And this is just called red apple. I'm going to give it a shake. It's just apple barrel. I have all brands. I do not, I'm not a snobby paint person. I just love paint. I'm going to go in and do her little lips. And they'll need two coats too, so I'll just give it a second. Next, we're going to do a mixed media Christmas one. So get your whatever you're going to work on together because we'll start that maybe next week. And you can either do it and keep it for yourself as decoration or give it away as a gift. So we have her lips done. That's all I'm going to do on there. She's just a folk art little girl. I'm going to take a little bit more white and just touch up a little bit more on the outside. So it can dry and then I can go in with the green and get those eyes done. All right, and I want that to dry. And then I think what I'm going to do is I have, where is it? Here we go. Let's get it out. I have a stamp and it says, I think I have another stamp out there I was going to use too. I can still use that too. This says Love Wish Dream. So I think I'm going to take some white paint while everything's drying. 
could use a bigger brush. And kind of go over the top. Just kind of get it on there. Go over the last, the one you did first again, just to make sure the paint's wet. And then let's see what we get with this. We'll stamp it. And because there's so much texture, it's hard to know if your stamp's going to come out right or not because of the texture. And obviously it didn't. So am I disappointed? No. I'm going to, and you can even see it picked up some of the color from the other thing. So what I'm going to do is leave that there. I'm going to put my brush in there to wash off. And then I know I have, I think I left out. The look if I left out my black. I'm gonna wipe off my spray off my stamp, push it into a paper towel, get all the extra paint off. It just takes a second to do. Just wipe it. It's nice to have like go to the dollar store and buy a thing of baby wipes and have them sitting around because those clean off real good. So let's see, do I have a black? Let's see if this will work. Because like I said, sometimes it gets really hard with the, the texture that we have down. I don't want to lose the texture, so I want the texture, but sometimes it's hard when you go to stamp because then the texture won't let you stamp, if that makes sense. So we'll try with black. I really, I'm just using archival ink uh, from Ranger, but you can use any kind of ink you have. I'm using black. Use a marker if you have, you know, whatever you have. And let's see what we can get with this. Maybe if we put it here where there's not so much texture. Just push it down. Good. And I wish. I know this is dangerous for myself because then if you can push up from the bottom, I'm not good at that. I end up moving the stamp and everything. Eh, you can barely see it. It's not even going to be worth it because of the texture. So we can go in with a white uh, jelly, uh, blah, blah, blah. white jelly pen or white marker or white ink, and we can maybe even trace over that if we want. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna take my water, give it a little squirt. It's probably not gonna come off as well as I wanted to because it's permanent, but if I stick my hand in glitter one more time, <laughs> I live with glitter. I walk in stores with glitter in, on me as if I put it on like makeup. Now I'm just gonna take some blue gelato and kind of put it over that. Take my finger, kind of rub it on that. You can add more colors or whatever. Remember, we always can cover. And then just take whatever's left of that blue on my finger and kind of dull that white down a little bit so we really don't know what went on there. And then I'm going to say goodbye, gelato, for now. Okay. So I'm going to dry my brush again. Okay. And then we're going to go into our green. Same green that we used for her eyes. Whatever color you used, use that color. Take your little brush and just go and fill out her eyes. 
to give her one more coat. We can make the black bigger. The black needs to be a little bit bigger on that one. And here I can see the eye itself, the iris, needs to be a little bit blacker. And it's okay if we go into the white because white you could just touch up with a little bit of the paintbrush when we're done. But the white was not dry on here all the way when I went to go put the green on. So. I'm just going to kind of touch it on. Yeah, I got to fix that uh, pupil. So we'll leave that dry for a minute. And with our marker, go in and do your little eyebrows. Now, if you wanna go darker, I'm going lighter, obviously, because she has red hair. And I'm just doing a line. And I'm gonna do a line over here. And it's just a play, like I said, it's just a folk art girl, nothing. Nothing too fancy. And now I think what I'm gonna do is go in her hair with a watercolor pencil and I think I might use red. And I think I might sharpen it. Now I can go over her hair again with the orange. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go in and give her highlights. And I'm just kind of rubbing it on. And because my hands are dirty, my arms are dirty, that's something to learn from me. I lay my hands and arms in everywhere. <laughs> so that's what happens. And if this doesn't work, then I'll just go put orange over it again. I want to give her some highlights and low lights with the hair, but we shall see. She might just get another coat of orange. Yeah, I might just throw orange on her. Use a bigger brush and just throw orange on her. I think that might be the best way to go. So, we won't worry about that hair right this second. brush go over it and just go over it sometimes you might even need three coats it doesn't matter I'm you know rushing a little bit because this is our last real play with this I wanted to get you guys a beginner canvas. The next one we're going to do is a Christmas canvas. And if you still have some dark spots, you know, I blot the paint on so it's a little thicker in areas, or you just wait for it to dry and go over it again. Or a great technique, and I know not everybody has it, is um, 
molding paste. I love put molding paste in the hair because um, it gives it texture and it covers all the, you know what I mean? You can just give it such great texture. Maybe we'll do it in the angel in the next one that we're gonna do. Well, let me try to get this. See, I think that's still wet. Her eye. Her eye. Where's my marker? And then you'll just outline her eye again. That's why I love these markers because they go over the over that. I really want to put a saying down, but I don't know. <laughs> what I can do though is Take a piece of paper towel, take Love Wish Dream, take my black stamp, push her aside for a second, do it like this. I'm gonna ink this up one more time. Take a piece of my paper towel. I'm gonna turn this over, stick it on there. Let's see what it does on here. Push each letter so it gets down there. Ta-da! All right, I'll show you in a minute because I know it's hard to see. Because with all the colors in the canvas, it's hard to really But look what we have. Love was dream. So I'm gonna give that a rip. So it's kind of kind of square. I'm gonna bring this back a bit. And inside my heart here, I'm gonna get my glue stick. My glue stick, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna oh, put some glue on here very carefully because it's paper towel and it will tear. So you wanna be as careful as you can be or use your Mod Podge or whatever you have around. You don't want it to tear. And I'm gonna stick it inside my heart right there. Yes, I am. If you notice, it needs a little more glue. Put it and push anywhere you notice. And once you get it down on there, just quick just leave it go so it can dry. And look how that worked out. Worked out perfectly. And now you can take paint or uh, colored pencil or crayon. I'm just going to use a little bit of this paint right here. Just a little bit on my finger. 
and just kind of blend it around. Nothing major. I like the way it looks. Like grungy in it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. And then one of the last things I'll do is fix her eye. What did I do with my paint? I see a little bit of the green and I can sit here and play a little bit longer and and continue doing a little you know I mean playing a little bit here more and a little bit more here and there but now it's for your turn to you know kind of see what else you want to add like I said I'm just going to go in and touch up a little bit I hope you guys had fun doing this. I hope you guys will join me. And then we're going to put a little light in her eye. I just like to put a dot. Like that. I'm going to hold her up for you in a minute. And here she is. And how cute does she look? Now, once everything's dry, I go over with a quick uh, spray of uh, like acrylic uh, sealer, just so everything kind of stays down and on. You know, like my that I did go over with uh, the washi tape. It's supposed to stick. It doesn't stick very well. Um, it's great to have for decoration and play with, but but that's uh, that's what we got. So I hope you guys will tag me and show me what you guys did. But that's the end of this mixed media. And I hope you guys join me for the next one. We'll start probably next week um, on our Christmas one. And I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I had a blast. And she didn't come out too bad. And I like the stamping on the... Look at the paper towel. Just adds that little bit. And you want to add, like I said, some more stuff to her hair, whatever. You go ahead. You go ahead and play. Add more stamps. I still have to color, which I'm going to do in colored pencils, um, the big face. So if you wanted to just do the big face, I'm going to do that later on. And then we're going to move on from her to our next thing. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys like her. It's our little fairy girl. And she has water on her face for some reason. I must have squirted. Now, something else I would probably do, and maybe I'll do it real quick while I'm still here because it's bothering me. I'm going to pick... I don't even know what color to do. Maybe a light purple. Just to color like her little and purples need sharpened, but just to kind of color in her eye eyelids. Yeah, you know, just a little bit. This doesn't sharpen, but just so it's not so skin toned. You could do it with anything. You could do it with a, a glitter, you know, a glittery thing or whatever. And she just gets a little bit of color. just adds a little bit of something.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I can't wait to see your guys' uh, interpretation of this. I hope you guys had a blast. And can't wait to see you in the next one. Leave me questions, comments, thumbs up, all that stuff. I love it. And be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. You guys rock. You're the best. And I will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.